God. See the word in the book of Exodus. He said it's the only commandment that you're getting something out of it. Can you, can you understand that? The Lord God said when you honor your father and your mother that you will be blessed in the land that I'm giving you. The Lord God said I'm about to release some things into your destiny. But because you haven't honored your mother as well as your father, you're not going to get it. I don't know about you, but I was like, let me go get my mama some flowers. Let me go do because you mean to tell me God says that my blessing is right here. But because I have not honored her. And you're thinking, well, how do I honor her? You ever just picked up and just listened to her? Oh, I'm going deep right there. You see, mothers have no charge. You understand? All what they do. But if you just, you know, listen to them. Can you imagine the times that she listened to you? And then all of a sudden she have an issue. She may just want to talk. She may be getting wiser in her years, but that don't mean that she's not needed. Talk to me now. You see, whenever we get grown, oh, I'm, I'm preaching to the choir right here. When you get grown, you feel like, well, I'm a mama too. I don't need, you, you know what? There were times you weren't always a mama. You was a daughter before you was a mama. You was a son, but and, and there was a daughter, but you was not always in the place that you are right now. And the Lord God says, but she listened to you. When the Lord God fell carrying the cross, do you realize who ran to his aid? Even though they, they had some, do you realize his mother was there? Uh, some of you, you need to understand why you should honor your mother. Because they're always there for you regardless. Do you realize, at the cross she was there. They persecuted him she was there. She didn't leave his side. We're talking about the Mary, the mother of Jesus. She was there. That's a, and nobody paid her to do that. Do you realize that she stayed by her son's side? I want you to know as a characteristic of we will not ever leave. We have a non-quitting attitude, especially if your child is involved. You can hang it up. <laughs> you can hang it up. That mother is not going anywhere. A mother hears about their child being sick. You know where that mama's at? At the hospital. Everybody needs to go take a nap with mama. You know why? Because I don't want to miss that. You can see it any time. Whenever there's, there's a need that's going on, something in a health-wise with a mother, guess who's up all hours? The mama. It's not because they don't trust God, but they're praying. They, they were wired that way. I'm not going to give up because God didn't give up on me. And then you, there's no fee for that, but I'm not going to let it go. I'm trying to tell you that you need to honor your mother. Honoring your mother is one way by listening to her. And yes, some of us, as we get mature, we're like, you know what? My mom don't know. And I'm, I'm so much wiser than her. You know what? Can you just honor her and do this and listen? That's all that she's asking. That's all. To me, that's a way of honoring your mother. That's better than any roses. I'm here to tell you. You're like, what? That's, you're like, well, she keeps saying the same old thing. It's all right. Let us say it. But at least you're there. It cannot be said that I was not there for my mama. Oh, come on now. I'm preaching right there. It could not be said that I was not there. My mama may have. If she wanted to tell me something, I was there. If she wanted to share anything, I was there. That's how you honor your mother is by listening to her. After all this that she's done. I'm closing today, but I wanted it just to be a focus of honoring your mother because you must understand that whatever you have, you may have been going around with a dirty diaper. Oh, I'm going deep right there. You know what? She couldn't let you stay in the mess. But you know what she did? She changed. Stinking and all. Come on now. Oh, I'm going deep with that. We're saying sure. But sometimes as we're, as we're adults, we go through some stinking mess. Mm -hmm. And guess what you call it? Well, and you know what mom will do? As much as it's getting on her nerves. <laughs> yeah, you don't think my, it gets on her nerves because she's like, look. This same aroma that I smelled when they were a baby, now it's here again. And you know what a mother do? She gird it up, stuff it up like she don't even smell it. What can I do? You know what? She's not gonna praying for you, working through it. We're gonna help you out. Whatever. Whatever it is, at no charge. And I'm saying that to say that after all that's been done, and then surely enough, when you are refreshed and revived, you forget to call. Forget to say thank you, Mama. Oh, man, deep. I believe that we should take the time out in this day and this time and start honoring our mothers. Take a moment, and especially that you should understand, if you are a mother yourself, 
it should go even deeper for you. Because you, you, it should go even deeper because, you know what, you would want that for yourself. Come on, you would want your child to say thank you. Thank you, Mama. Would you not? Would you not want, and you, you, it doesn't matter, you, you don't want the diamonds, you don't want, I mean, that's nice, but if they can just say thank you, that would be worth millions to some of us. You must understand, I'm going to give you these few scriptures just so that you know that being a mother has got the characteristic. In Isaiah 49, you should know it's Isaiah, you know. <laughs> Isaiah 49, 15, God says that that's a godly care. God says, I will not forget about you. Like a mother who's nursing her child will not forget. Isn't that something powerful? That's a characteristic of God, but that's a characteristic of a mother. And you're like, well, some mothers, but no, no, no. He's saying if you are like a baby nursing, a nursing, and we're not talking about, we're talking about a baby who's breastfeeding. How can you forget a child that's breastfeeding on you at the time? The Lord God said, I will never do that. Amen. I got them, she will not go about and say, you know what? I got to take, I got to finish nursing before I can, come on now, they put their lives on hold yeah. to do for you. And then when you're ready to be weaned, then you, but then you forget. No. It was right here. I was, I wanted to go out. I wanted to, as you say, venture out, but I had my baby. And I stayed in because I knew that that was going to be a man, a woman of God. I, I told, look at Isaiah 49, 15. God says, I will not forget you as, as a child, like a mother would not forget a child at her breast. I want you to know that God said, that's how we need to be as godly mothers. That the Lord God says, we don't, we're not going to forget. Mothers don't forget their children. Oh, come on now. Oh, come on now. I'm trying, I can feel the darts. I can feel it. Mom, I'm here to tell you, you need to forgive your moms. I, I don't know why. It may be because it's the type of ministry that this is. It's such warfare. It's warfare being a mom. It really is. There are many books written on the power of a praying mom. There are many big books written on that because it's such a warfare. Because even though you are trying to pray for your kids, sometimes there's a spirit that's operating in your kids against you. But you still pray for them anyhow. But I'm giving the charge anyway that if you are the child of that mother, I don't care what's going on. Honor your mother. Honor her. Honor her. Give her the respect that she deserves. Give her that moment. Give her that time. Give her that mom. Oh, Lord, I, I, I'm, I'm off my message, but you know what? That, that bothers me when individuals, you know, start calling their mom by their first name all the time. It's okay at certain ventures, but you realize I got some stretch marks to prove this here. <laughs> I don't know about you, but mama. <laughs> so, you know what? People say, well, no, that, no, no, no. I think whenever we start doing that, we begin to lose. Oh, come on, mamas, I'm talking to you. Amen. I begin, I believe that we begin to lose our respect for our, you know, oh, she did, you know, that's, you know. No, 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 no. I'm mama right here. I'm mama. Do you remember? Because whenever that, that puts that, that sternness to say, I demand some respect. Amen. Well, you're calling me my first name base. I'm looking for somebody. Amen. Am I preaching it up? I'm looking for somebody. I'm looking for somebody. And my own child. Well, I can just. Wait a minute now. Because, hey, wait, wait. Because you've labored for that. It's the same way. My God. See, when we call upon the Lord, we call on the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. You know what? But that, but we, but we reverence him. We respect him. And it's almost like to say, oh, he just God. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the disrespect? But whenever we call upon the name of the Lord God, we Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. That shows how we honor him. And today, I want you to honor your moms. I want you to take a moment to acknowledge all the things that she's done for you. All the things that she's done on your behalf with no feet. All the things that she's continuously, the stuff that she's doing right now. You see, half of us wouldn't be half of the women that we are or the men that we are had we not had a mother in our life. Some a godly, spiritual, where there's a spiritual mom, come on, somebody in that role that was praying and that was for us. I don't know about you, but I was praying into the gospel. I didn't just have Moses. Somebody prayed for me. Do you realize, and this was an answer prayer. A prayer that all my children would be saved. Come on. Yeah. Whenever you're 
accept the Lord as your personal Lord and say, do you realize that's an honor to your mother because you just accepted Christ. She's been praying for you since you were born. Ever since that you came out of the womb, she's like, I'm praying, Lord God, that it will be a prophet to the nation. I'm praying there will be a prophet. I'm praying, Lord God, that you'll be a godly woman, a godly man, a doctor, a lawyer. But no matter what they were praying for you, I pray that they would be well with them. Amen. Come on now. Do you realize how powerful that is? People of God, we're going to take the time today and honor our mothers on the eve of Mother's Day. I couldn't think of any other way than to say it than just the way that I've said it. I asked the Lord God, Lord, give me a word and a word to bring forth. And the Lord God said, take the time to honor them. Honor praying mothers. Take the time to honor all mothers. Not just the mothers that are in. What about the mothers who are not church? Give them their honor too. And just say, you know what, mom, I just want to say thank you. I just want to say thank you for, for blessing me. Pray for them. Being that Proverbs 31 mother, rising early and doing all those things and no charge. The Lord God says your labor is not in vain. Oh, Father God, as I pray, seal this world over your sons and your daughters today. That, Lord God, on the eve of Mother's Day, that, Lord God, we are praying for every mom at the sound of my voice, every spiritual mom, every, Lord God, every mother figure in our lives in the name of Jesus. Father God, we take a moment now to acknowledge them, to honor them, to pray a blessing over them and for them in the name of Jesus. And, Lord God, that we take a moment, Lord God, to just say thank you, Lord God, for our mothers, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing us in this time, Lord God, to be able to have a mother. Those that are here with us, thank you, Lord God, that we are blessed to still have our moms here in this earth realm. And, Lord God, we're not going to miss our moments. So, Father God, I'm praying for every individual at the sound of my voice. Every daughter, every spiritual daughter, every spiritual son, in the name of Jesus, that they would find a time and a place to say, thank you, Mama. To honor their mothers, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, and I'm praying that as they do, that the blessings will begin to overtake them, in the name of Jesus. Every woman, every son that's praying for their mom right now. In the name of Jesus, that Lord God, the blessings of the Lord God will over, overtake them in the name of Jesus. Because they've taken time to honor them. Yes. Father God, and I seal this now in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. 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 Come on, good God.